15 meters is open. This is in 4 H and H. The station, uh, Charlie Echo 4. November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. November Hotel, November Hotel, repeat. Yes, uh, Charlie Echo 4, Juliet Zulu Oscar. This is November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. Doug in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia, and you are 5656. Five, six. Okay, I copy November 4, November, November Hotel. Uh, November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. November 4, Hotel, November Hotel, QSL. Okay, QSL, my friend. It's very good to, to call. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for calling me, my friend. November 4, Hotel, and Nancy Hotel, Dover. Thank you very much for the call. There's a more key on the station. Uh, sorry, my friend. It's about one minute. In the moment, call me from the telephone. <laughs> Uh, QSL, understood. Uh, this is N4 H and H QRX. Just come by one minute. Just come by one minute. Oh, he came up. Look at that. He he was flirting with S8 then. So that's Kiko in uh, Chile. He goes by Kiko. If you look him up on QRZ. So it's nice to see uh, 15 meters open. I'm having to use um, clarifier a little bit. He's uh, 40 hertz low, but uh, he sounds good. And I'm using the Cushcraft R5 vertical, um, running about 950, 960 watts from the uh, Elecraft KPA 1500. I'll pan over there while we wait on him. There's the KPA 1500. And uh, this, the R5 vertical is an old, old Cushcraft. I've had this one since the mid 90s and uh, it does a great job on 15, 12, and 10. So it's going to be exciting to see these, uh, these higher bands start opening up more and more with uh, cycle 25 here. So, uh, anyways, he's got a nice DX pileup. Uh, so, again, while we wait, um, I'm not using attenuation running amp one and uh, for DSP I have digital noise reduction at nine and the width at 2.8 I noticed that he was transmitting wide so I thought I would widen it a little bit to accommodate so you could hear the richness in his audio and I've got RF gain rolled back just a bit you can see here on the S meter with these Yaesu rigs, when you when you turn the RF gain counterclockwise, the RF gain's right here on this uh, on the FTDX 5000. When you turn that ring counterclockwise, see it moves the S meter up, and you're you're essentially telling the radio um, that you know in this case here, for example, I don't want to hear anything that's not above a S1. And if you turn it all the way to the right, so you're going to start getting just receiver noise and QRN. So no need to do that if the person's signal is coming in stronger than that. So, you know, just makes sideband sound so much better. That must have been an important phone call. He's not back yet. I wanted to get my signal report. Um, so about the R5 vertical, you can't buy them anymore, but I believe you can get the R9 um, Cushcraft, which back when I bought my Cushcraft, it was, on, it was actually Cushcraft. Now they're owned by MFJ. And uh, I have heard of some quality issues, not so much the function of the antenna, but missing parts. And, uh, but if, uh, you know, I hear that MFJ is very good about sending you whatever parts were missing out of yours. You know, it's usually just little hardware items. But uh, I got the R5 because back in the 90s, there was an expedition, late, late 80s, early 90s, there was an expedition to the South Pole, and they had an R5 down there on a mast. Uh, on the ice and they were working back to the states and I thought wow that's a that's pretty good antenna there um, and I decided I would get one it works uh, 10 12 15 17 and 20 meters um, 
Now the R9, I think it goes all the way through 80 meters. But so we'll see uh, if he comes back here. <laughs> I'm not gonna linger too much longer, but I wanted you guys to get to see that 15 meters is open. For those of you who are a tech and working on getting your general, you're, you're getting into amateur radio at a great time to be getting your general because in the, uh, in the next two to three years, these upper frequencies are gonna even get better and better. And uh, wow, wait till you get to enjoy some 10 meter single sideband. Uh, between 28.3 and 28.5. Now, also, techs can enjoy that, uh, 28.3 to 28.5. So uh, even if you haven't upgraded to general yet, once um, 10 meters starts working more and more, we've had some sporadic E uh, uh, propagation in the last few years. Of course, it's sporadic, hence the name. But when it starts working really, really reliably, uh, even technician class will be able to enjoy uh, 28.3 to 28.5. Just keep your power uh, no more than 200 watts. But uh, the generals, of course, uh, when you upgrade, you'll be able to operate this band here, 15 meters, which is one of my favorite bands. Uh, there he is. Uh, yeah, QSL Kiko, uh, uh, Doug on this end, and um, I'm, I appreciate you coming back to me. This is N4H and H, and again, uh, your signal report actually jumped up to a 5.8 as you were taking the phone call, so I'm going to change in my log to 58, 58, QSL. Okay, QSL dollar. Sorry, sorry for, for the standby. Uh, He's dropped a little uh, now. I give him the highest Echo report I see. Hotel, November, Five six. Uh, yes, Kiko. Well, you were a five eight earlier. Uh, I think conditions are changing a little bit. You're bouncing around the uh, S four mark, but I will say this is an FTDX five thousand, and so the S meter is a little bit on the stingy side. High high. So you're probably realistically uh, more around a five six uh, with this radio. Well, thanks. I won't hold it. I know you got a pile up, and uh, and then you had the phone call. So let me jump out of here and let you uh, get some work some more stations. It's good to meet you here, Kiko, and I'll say best of seventy three to you. And um, I hope you have a great uh, year twenty twenty one. Seventy three, Charlie Echo four, Juliet Zulu Oscar. This is N four H N H. Okay, PSL dollar. PSL. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for first contact for the and station. To repeat for the standby one minute for me, and for the telephone call in the moment. And my friend in Talca, in other in other in other city, my my country. Okay, my friend, all the best. In the moment, you call is registered for me in the QSS.com. In, in my notebook, in the QSS.com. Please, it's time. It's time to start go for me to for to prevent the contact in the moment. 94, 10 November, Cloud Echo 4, Japan, Zulu Hotel, 73, good luck, and good year. QSL, 73, thanks so much, N4, H&H. Well, there we go, uh, 15 meter contact. Uh, that's wonderful to get to work 15 meters again. It was the very first band for me in 1982 when I was a novice with a straight key and a uh, a loner tube type radio. I had a lot of fun working uh, the 15 meter band. I built my first antennas um, for 15 meters. Uh, two dipoles. I uh, had one dipole uh, uh, oriented for east west and the other one oriented for north south. Um, and this was uh, just a fun band to operate. Okay, just wanted you folks to get to see that um, and hopefully. Um, you're going to get your general soon if you're if you're not already a general and start enjoying some of these openings that 
we should see more and more of this as cycle 25 uh, for the sunspot cycle continues. Thanks for watching and uh, 73 from N4HNH.